in this video i explain evaporative condenser so this question is asked in a two subject one is power plant engineering and the refrigeration and air conditioning subject so this is the important questions for both the subject so that is a various types of condenser are there first types of the condenser is called as the air condenser means in this condensers the substance is cooled by using the air so here you see that is a number of fins is there and this is from this pipe the refrigerant is passed this air cool condenser is generally used in refrigeration and air conditioning it is not used in the power plants okay so by using the fan the air is passed from this tubes and the fins and the temperature of the refrigerant is reduced second type is the water condenser in the water condenser the steam is condensed or a refrigerant is condensed by using the water so in a water there is again two type is come there is a jet type condenser and the surface condenser so you already know in a jet type condenser the exhaust steam and the cooling water is mixed so it is used in the power plant and another is the surface condenser in a surface condenser again number of type is there and in a surface condenser the steam and the cooling water is not mixed okay so in a refrigerant we are not able to use the jet type condenser we can use the surface type condensers now third one is the evaporative condenser that i am going to explain in this video so what is the meaning of evaporative evaporative means the substance are evaporates and due to this evaporation some cooling is produced so now you can think that for the evaporation of the substance we need to supply some heat energy at that time how the cooling is produced just here i give one simple examples when the swap is done on our body or some water particles are on our body okay so at that time when the our body is completely swapped when we do the some exercise or doing some heavy works and we are stand below the fan or either we are moving on the vehicle on a higher speed so at that time we are feeling the more cooling effects okay so how this cooling is produced on our skin this cooling is produced due to the evaporation of the swept so what over the swept is on our body or skin they are start to evaporate okay due to this evaporations the swept is converted into the vapor and they mix into the atmosphere and we are feeling the cooling effect on our body or a skin okay the this same concept is used in the evaporative condenser so i will explain this concept on the evaporative condensers in the detail in these videos first we understand the various components of the evaporative condenser and then i explain the working so this is the outer parts of the evaporative condenser in evaporative condenser condenser coil is there in a condenser coil what we supply exhaust steam from the turbine and outlet is the condenser to the pump suppose this condenser is used in a refrigerant then what is the enter vapor state refrigerant from the compressor is enter here and the liquid refrigerant is exit from this condenser coil now for cooling of these steams we require some water okay so at the bottom side of this body the cooling pond is there from the cooling pond by using the pump water is spray on this condenser coils and air is also supplied from the bottom sides for that there is a induced draft fan is provided on the top of the condenser okay so induced draft fan is suck the air from these air lowers so air is in from the sides and air is move in the upper sides so with the air some of the water vapor particle is also move for avoiding the moving of water vapor particles in the atmospheres the eliminators are put there okay means eliminators are remove the water vapor particles and only air is supplied to the atmosphere okay so this is the basic constructions of the evaporative condenser now we understand the working of this evaporative condensers the arrangement of this condenser is shown in a figure evaporative condenser condenser cell is not provided means here cell is not there okay earlier we study the down flow cell and tube type condensers central flow condensers in which the one cell is provided inside the cell there is a number of tubes are there but here we are used the coil coil means only one continuous tube is there and earlier we understand there is a number of tubes are there so here only one pipe is there 
inlet is exhaust and it is continuously out and it is in the condensed state and here there is a no cell is there the steam passes through condenser tube and over this tube the water is spread while the air is passed upper outside the tubes means this is the condenser coil or the tubes inside that our substance is flowing suppose if we are explaining for the power plant engineering then steam is supplied suppose it is refrigeration and air conditioning then the refrigerant is supplied for cooling of this steam or a refrigerant we spray the water and air is also passed from downward to upper sides water is spray through the nozzles over the pipe carrying the exhaust steam and form a thin film over it okay means this is the tube and on the tube we are spray the water and when we spray the water on the condenser coils on the condenser coil there is a water film is created means thin layer of water film is produced on this condenser coils or a tube at the same time means when the water is sprayed at this at that times the air is also circulate with the help of induced draft fan cause the rapid evaporation of some of cooling waters okay so air is circulate means air is moving from this bottom to upper side water is moving in up to down sides and the water film is produced on the condenser tubes so what happen here here the latent heat is required for the evaporation of the water vapor earlier i gave the examples of the our human body skin when we have some sweat or a water on our surface we are stand below the fans and we are feeling the more cooling so same thing is happen on this condenser coils okay so we have sprayed the water from the nozzles so some water steam is produced on the condenser coils and air is passed from this water then what happens the water film on the condenser coil is start to evaporates and when this water vapor sorry water on the condenser coil is evaporate then what happen cooling effect is produced and due to this cooling effect the steam from the turbine is converted into the water means it is converted into the condensed this mode of heat transfer reduce the cooling water requirement of the condenser by 10% so means completely using the water condenser and suppose we are use the evaporative condenser at that times in evaporative condenser 10% cooling water is required less the steam circulating inside the pipe is condensed due to heat transfer from steam to the water means the steam is supplied heat energy to the water and the water is again cooled down by using the air flow okay so we can require the less quantity of the water the condensed is extracted with the help of condensed pump means here the condensed pump is there and from the condensed pump the water is supplied to the boiler the water particle carried with the air due to high velocity of air are removed with the help of eliminators so we know that on the surface of the condenser coils there is a evaporation of the water is going on and the air is also flowing with the high velocity this evaporation is done by the air so air and water vapor are mix here okay so this there is a chances that the water vapor is also move to the atmosphere so avoid to supply the water vapor into the atmosphere we are use the eliminator means what is the functions of eliminators to remove the water particles from the air this condenser needs very small amount of circulating waters and the make up water since the coolant is used again and again means this cooling water is again and again used because no cooling water is supplied to the atmosphere okay some of the water vapor is collected here on the eliminator they are again condensed and after the condensed they are again going to the cooling ponds so very less quantity of the make up water is required here these types of condensers are more preferable where acute shortage of cooling water is exists means where the cooling water is quantity available is less at that place we can use the evaporative condenser however these condenser are only suitable for smaller size power plants means for the large size power plant we are not able to use the evaporative condensers now before moving towards advantages and disadvantages i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions 
as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist of my channels now we understand the advantages of the evaporative condenser it is simple in design and cheap in first cost means design is simple and the cost is also low it does not require large quantity of the cooling water therefore need a small capacity cooling water pump so compared to the water type condenser these types of condenser is require small quantity of the cooling water when the small quantity of the cooling water is required the pump size is also also reduce pump size is reduce means electricity consumption is also reduce its operation cost is less so why its operation cost is less size of the pump is reduce so electricity bill is reduce so operating cost is less now what is the disadvantages of evaporative condenser the vacuum maintained in this condenser is less so vacuum maintained in this condenser is less because the part is open to the atmosphere and due to fan here induced the fan is there so means here some vacuum is created and due to this vacuum air is in the work done per kg of steam is less with this condenser due to less vacuum so here less vacuums are there so work done required per kg of steam is also less it is not suitable for medium and large power plants means it is only suitable for the small size of power plants so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video and don't forget to share with your friends